So I'm going to start you off with this graph for short run equilibrium where the aggregate supply crosses the aggregate demand. We have price on the vertical line and uh, income and output on the horizontal line. And I want you to know that this graph is pretty much applicable to many graphs that we're going to go through in this video and the future video. And uh, right away I'm going to bring you to simple multiplier and short run multiplier. And this is where we have to pay attention because it's extremely important for you to know this. And we're going to start off with the assumption that the government increased their spending, so GO increased. And what we immediately know from the immediate period, what consequences come from uh, government increasing their spending is that when government increases their spending, what happens is AE not increases. That is because government uh, GO makes up AE not, uh, AEO. And so we can, I can say that AE not one increases to AE not two. So I can take this AE not one that we have here, and I can say that AE not one increases to AE not two, and draw a pink line. And the slope for these two are supposed to be the same, but I think because I'm running out of space here I'm just gonna make the line like that and since and then AE belongs here since AE and AE naught share the same line and the slope didn't change what happens is when AE naught increases AE also increases and AE this would be AE2 and AE1 increases to AE2 and remember that because AE2 only increased because uh, AE0 and AE2 both share the same line and the slope did not change. You'll, sh you'll, know, you'll see in a little while that when the slope, the slope can change and it can affect a lot of things. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just draw a line. Draw a line from this point where, the, where there's an intersection and draw all the way down where it... Uh, all the way down to this graph and this is supposed to be a straight line but because I'm using a crappy tablet it's not that straight so uh, so here in this graph we know that government increased their spending so if government increased their spending and they're buying stuff that we usually buy then they're increasing the demand and when something other than price affects the demand the demand curve shifts to a new curve so we'll just draw a new curve here and have it be called a D2, aggregate demand two, and where the price and where the price and the uh, and the ag and a new aggregate demand curve crosses, we'll draw a point. And this point is the price for this point is the same as P1. That is because I told you before that in when something changes and uh, something changes immediately. What happens in the price in the immediate period, it stays the same, it doesn't change. So that is why uh, this new price uh, is the, this new price in this new uh, intersection is the same as the original one. And we'll just call this part Y2. And we'll just call this part Y2. And we'll move on to uh, to the new to short run imaging colors. We just move on to short run. What happens in the short run, the short run period? So what happens in the short run period? When the short run period, uh, prices gets fixed and we're back at equilibrium. So prices increases from P1 to P2. So now price increases back to P2. So P increases from P1 to P2 and and then uh, similarly we're gonna reflect this change back into our graph our top graph so straight line and we're gonna have a point here and this will be where we draw our new AE curve so when prices rise that means that that means that uh, that things will get more expensive and people will spend less. 
So a so the autonomous consumption drops from A2 to A3. That is because price goes up. Uh, people with pe people who have the same income might not be able to afford it, and they don't buy it at all. So that's why uh, autonomous consumption decreases. So say if like the prices of apples rose and people can't buy apples anymore, then of course they're not going to spend anything on it. That's why Thomas consumption falls, even if they need it. AE2 drops to AE3, AE not 3. And I know that, and this will be AE3. I know that A, I know that, uh, I know that all these lines, the, pur the purple line, the pink line, and the blue line all looks the same, but I just want to make certain that you know that this AE, AE not 3 line actu is actually flatter than the other two lines. And that kind of makes sense because uh, spending decreases and their willingness to spend, which is Z, the marginal propensity to spend, also falls from Z1 to Z2 to Z2 so this was this blue line the slope for the blue line is originally our Z1 and uh, this purple line is the new slope Z2 which is much more flatter than Z1 because uh, because of the price rose people spend less and their willingness to spend also decreases and when AE not shifts with the AE shift and the 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 slope of Z2 uh, decreasing, uh, AE uh, AE also shifts and pivots down. So AE goes down, and AE goes goes from AE2 to AE3, and that is reflected in our graph. And the last thing I wanted to want to mention is why. This is our new equilibrium line. And in the immediate period, we can see that the output actually uh, was actually uh, causing a shortage with the demand and stuff. And so then, so then, uh, over the short run, over the short run, it actually fixed itself, increases the price, increases the price. People, some people have less demand, and so we have a new new output, which is Y three. So Y also falls from Y2 to Y3. And this is all I want to talk about in this video. It's a lot to take in, so make sure you go over this video once or twice to make sure you actually really know what's going on. And I will see you in the